good afternoon, good evening. It's Michelle from Crafts Me and More with a chat aside number two. So it's been three weeks, sorry for that. Been a bit sick, haven't been able to talk. So I'm back now. We are in the beginning of December. We've had so much happen in our family. My eldest son has graduated and finished high school, have his formal. What else has been happening? He went down to the Gold Coast for a week for schooly celebration where they finish at the end of school and go for a week of partying without their parents. He survived that, he's come home, so I'm a happy mum. I've had a few finishes and I have a UFO and I have one lip. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of um, grandma groomies because I'm working on a project to help those less fortunate for Christmas time. And so let's get on with what I've been working on now. Three of these come out of the Zumagurumi 8 book. So yeah, three of them have come out of this book, which is our um, From Meteor Books. There's 15 in here. I've got two left to make, and then I've made them all this year. So I'm going to do a review on this. That's my, that's my first book review that I'm going to do, because I've almost completed the entire book. So we have made. I need to open these up so I get their names because I do have names. Each character has a name. So let me open that up so I get the. So we have Simone, the meerkat, which I did in with the magic glitz and the purple and the eye charms. Um, they're variegated. They're brown. I have a lot of this brown, so you'll see that over the the course. So I'm trying to use up all my yarn. So then I can buy some more. So I've put myself on a little bit of a yarn diet, so I'm not buying any more. So that's our Mio Cat. I think she turned out quite well. Um, we also made, I think it's Pablo is the next one we want. Yes, Pablo the Parrot. So this turned out really well. It was an intermediate pattern and it actually was somewhat difficult. I'm still, I class myself as a new crocheter. I haven't even been crocheting for 12 months yet. So this is Pablo the Parrot. I enjoyed making this. It was lots and lots and lots of fun. It really was. Okay, we also, I'm just gonna put them down here. We also made, I think this is Western. Is it Western? Let me find, yeah, Western the Goat. This finished object is Western the Goat. It's created by and designed by Unique Crafts, is the author. And I'll just read the little blurb it's got here. Weston is a hard-working farmer. From dawn to dusk, you can find him out in the fields, tending to his crops as he always grows the tastiest fruit and vegetables in town. Off to the farmer's market. So this is Weston. And we have Pablo. Pablo is created by Moji Moji Designs, Janine Holmes did this pattern. This chirpy little parrot loves popping his plumage to show off his fabulous drop of fluffy feathers. If you ask him how he feels, I'm sure he would say he's thrilled to meet you. So this is my Pablo. Again, just using yarn that I have on hand. And then we have Simone, the meerkat. Simone is a happy-go-lucky meerkat who's always on the lookout for new friends. Would you be her friend? Would you be my friend? Maybe if you will, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell beside it so you know when I upload videos. One day he, well, well ours is a girl, so one day she was spotted in a brightly coloured ball of yarn and hook in the desert and she taught herself to crochet. She made herself a sweater and proudly shows it off to her buddies. So I think this is a pretty, I, I enjoyed this pattern. It was quite a quick stitch up. And that's our three from our Zumagurumi 8 book. Look out for the book review coming soon. I have one more finished object that will be released on the website. I've tested quite a few patterns for her over the course of the last six months or so. And this is her caribou. Now I need to still buy the bell, so that's why we have this bit of yarn here so I can uh, attach the bells to the collar. 
My kids also made the suggestion of giving him a red nose from Rudolph. This was actually a really good pattern. It's well written, like all of her patterns are. Quite a quick stitch. Um, probably took me six hours to make. I'm guessing your amagram is always just that little bit more fiddly. But I will leave the pattern details and the links to Cafe Dale Crafts website and all her socials in the description box below. So please look out for that. Next up we have, sorry I was checking my show notes, is my cushion that I started. It was a whip in my last chat episode and it's the Easy Throw Pillow. And I've done this one in um, a Premier Sweet Rolls Black Pepper Swirl using a 6mm hook um, and it's now finished. So I just did one side and then did the other side and then just joined it together. So it's a Vago Day pattern. It's tutorial number 625. I shall put a link in the description box below and I'll run this along the bottom so you know what I'm talking about when I do this. Now my most excited, that's it for my finished objects for the last three weeks. I, by my caliber of work, I'm going to be doing a chat episode, I'm hoping, every week. I can have something finished to talk to you about and something I've started. I've also been working on, this week, is a tutorial pattern. I'm writing my first pattern. Tutorial will be coming as soon as I've done it. I've done one side. It's going to be a rectangle cushion cover. This is done by Stitch Studio by Nicole, I apologise. In Earth Tones, in the colourway teal, I think it was. I'll have to confirm that when I actually do the tutorial, but I have done one side of my cushion cover. I am filming the other side, so you guys will get the step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm hoping that will be out later next week. It's just filming a tutorial and writing a pattern is all new to me. And I'm still learning and mistakes are being made and I have to keep re-recording and frogging. But this is a delight to work with. There will be a yarn review coming up in the next couple of days because I'm going to film that as well. Why not use a yarn review and make something at the same time? That is the way I think I'm going to do things moving forward is yarn review and have an object or a whip with said yarn while I'm doing the review. But that is about it for yarn stuff. I have had two acquisitions I did go to my local yarn store, which is my local big box craft store, which is Spotlight, and I've picked up a couple of Australian made yarns that I'm going to also do some reviews on. I just got to work out what I want to actually make with them. I may not do anything, I may just do a washcloth or something to that effect, just so I can see how it works up as an actual stitch pattern. I've enjoyed learning. I'm still only editing with Movie Maker. I am unable to afford at this present point in time any video editing software. All my social details are in the description box below if you'd like to give me a follow on Twitter or Instagram as well. I'm contemplating Facebook, but I'm not a big Facebook user. Not as good with social media either. I need to get more savvy at doing and more regular at doing. I do a lot, I just don't post a lot. So that's something else on my, my to-do list, my, my learning curve. There's lots to be learned and I'm enjoying the journey. I am a streamer over on Twitch, so making content's not a new thing. Doing YouTube is a very new thing and it's very, very different to what I'm used to. Now our dog update, Duke. Duke's doing fine. What else is there? I'm trying to think. My little boy's finished school for the year. He finished last Friday. So he finished at the end of November. So I have two home, one still at school. School holidays start next week. Then they're home for six weeks. Well, they're all home varying times, but the youngest will be home for six weeks before school goes back at the end of January. We are currently in the middle of a yucky, yucky heat wave. It's not very good. It's currently probably 35 degrees outside and it's mid morning. So we're probably looking at mid to high 40s today. So that's like 120-ish Fahrenheit, I think, if my rough conversion is correct. 
and yes, I know I live in Australia, and yes, it's hot, but it's really strange. Mother Nature is weird. The weather is weird at the moment. We're really, really hot here, but there's places in Australia where it's snowing, and it's super cold. I don't know. The weather's gone a bit loopy, so shall we say. I do apologise for the traffic noise because I do record in my dining room which is right out the front of my house which is right near a main road. Well actually I live on a main road, the main road in and out of the little town that I live in. But should you feel, and I've been asked and reminded that I do have a Amazon wish list because I record this on my phone, I would really like to upgrade and get a new computer, a new vlogging camera because I want to make a go of this. This is what I need. To, I'm a. I have disabilities and I can't work out of the home. So I'm trying to make this into a, a career, a job for me. It's something that I can make a little bit of pocket money out to keep buying gorgeous yarn so I can review it and keep my channel going and my love for yarn going. So if you feel like it, I shall pop down my PayPal address if you wish to leave a donation. My post office box is there if you wish to send me mail and I will put a link to my Amazon wish list if you wish to fulfill that and gift something to me. But what I would appreciate more than anything else and I'd like to say thank you for is your time to sit and watch through my videos. I am trying to get to so I can actually do lives because I can't do lives at the moment because my computer will not handle that. I can't do lives until I can get a thousand subs and I can then do it on my phone. I'm sitting currently I think at 180 ish give or take so I've got a long way to go but that's my goal for the next year I'd like to see it done in six months but we'll see the view hours well they're going to take a whole another point I'm not here to make money off the ads I'm here to actually build a business and probably start selling my my things because I can vacuum pack a lot of stuff but I have prattled on enough you've listened to me long enough and I appreciate you if you've got this far in my video Thanks for hanging in there while I yarn around and chat around. But thanks for tuning into my chat episode. And until next time, hooroo.